Hey everyone, this is Florin from Evolute and in this short video I will show you how to uh, fit a NURB surface to this point cloud. And yes, you heard me well, a NURB surface and not a mesh, although a mesh would be a normal intermediate step for Evolute Tools Pro because it normally just manipulates meshes. We had f quite a few people just asking us if they can uh, do surface reconstruction with NURBS patches onto point clouds and the answer is yes, you can do that with Evolute Tools Pro. And what we're looking here today is a pretty thick and noisy point cloud. It's got some irregularities and missing patches and just the normal things that you would expect from some noisy scanning data. Alright, so if you're familiar with Evolute tools in general, um, you'll now know that I'll just start with the uh, coarse mesh. I'll roughly snap to what I would consider corners around here, so I'm not very careful about that. The data is pretty noisy. I'm splitting this big quad in two parts and just follow the normal subdivision step, get the mesh nice and dense. And I'm pretty happy with the density right now. One of the first steps is to actually set our points as references. Alright, this is done. We can ha now have a look at the optimization importances. We don't need curve closeness right now. There are no boundaries basically to stick to. It's just some noisy data. And what we can put in is definitely some fairness curvature. Let's say something point 0.4. Okay. Uh, another thing I can do if I want to keep my corners relatively sharp is to actually flag them as corners. So I'm just flagging the the vertices of the mesh uh, as corners because otherwise the, the fairness function will try to, to fair around the corners. We'll try to round them up basically. Okay, I'm ready now. We can actually try to stick this this mesh to this noisy point cloud and it's done. The appearance is not really smooth so what I could do, basically this is because of the noise, what I, I could do is just ramp up the fairness curvature. Let's check that out. Uh, let's just go to 1 here. Um, okay, try to optimize again and see how it fares. So it's, it's definitely, that's a very nice change there, it's getting nice and smooth. And of course you can simply ramp up the fairness curvature even more if you if you think it's not smooth enough for your application for your purpose. Alright, so what we have now is just a mesh basically. We reconstructed this very noisy point cloud with the mesh but we want a nerve surface for whatever purposes and it's uh, between a nerve surface and this mesh there's a really tiny simple step. We have a, we have a script written here it says ETS nerves from quad mesh and just basically fits a NURB surface onto that mesh. Alright, this is done and from now on you could just do whatever kind of modeling you would want to this um, to this surface. Of course um, any any complicated point cloud or noisy data can be used. This was like a really simple example, something to get you started off with but I hope you enjoyed this video. Many thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't don't hesitate to contact us. Alright, thanks a lot.